The world's go-to place for finding facts is also disappearing. Wikipedia is temporarily shutting down its entire English site overnight tonight. So why are they making this unprecedented move? And how will this affect your Googling? Here's Ian Hanamansing. Like a lot of students, Alita Northey is a frequent user of Wikipedia. You're reading something on the bus or you can take out your phone and, and look it up and Wikipedia is there. So I, I guess the next best link will have to be the one I, I, I look at. The next best link because Wikipedia, the internet encyclopedia written by the public, is shutting down its English language site for 24 hours, trying to bring attention to SOPA, a proposed U.S. law aimed at online piracy. The movie, music and book industries have lost a lot of money to illegal downloads, but critics say SOPA goes too far. The members of Wikipedia, for example, say that they would have to continuously police the articles that are being written and rewritten around the clock. And it's not just Wikipedia. Google will put up a message in support. Because people are seeing it everywhere. But and Toronto-based yeah. Cows, which provides a variety of internet services, is going dark for a day. If you think about sites like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, these things didn't exist five or 10 years ago. And who's to say five or 10 years from now what incredible opportunities we're going to have on the internet for sharing and evolving and building new businesses. And these things could be stifled. Canadian blogger and university professor Michael Geist believes this fight will have an impact north of the border. Canadians who think they are safe from some of the provisions in SOPA need only wait a couple of years because it seems virtually certain that the U.S. will increasingly pressure Canada and other countries to adopt similar kinds of measures in the future. For the immediate future, though, these university students will have to navigate a world without Wikipedia. Newspaper's great, Google has been pointed out, Yahoo's really good. I think there's a lot of other places you can check out. You're not worried at all? Uh, no, I think the world can survive a day without it. <laughs> at least on campus, there's an old school alternative. Ian Hanamansing, CBC News, Vancouver.